Naresh and Shivan, and the beautiful Vani Kapoor walking in their gorgeous outfits. So we'd like to hear from each of you the thought behind the collaboration, how this came about, and the reason why we're here today. Mr. Sharma, if we can begin with you, please. Yeah, I think, uh, good evening. Um, I think what we saw today, just now, uh, a fantastic collection uh, based on <coughs> Ireland free flow product. Um, this belongs to Reliance Industries. And uh, we are very happy to see um, yarns getting transformed in the form of the uh, excellent fabric collections and the garment collections. So thank you, Shivan. Thank you, Naresh, uh, for making it possible for us. Um, and thank you, um, Vani, for being here uh, at the show. Um, we have, uh, we ha at Reliance, we uh, focus a lot on research and development. And there are a lot of polymer modifications happening at the polymer stage, at the fiber stage, at the yarn stage, which can be used in a proper way at the fabric. Ultimate objective is that the <clears throat> consumer should have a superior experience uh, at the time of wearing these garments. As we saw just now, free-flowing garments in fantastic colors, vibrant. So this is what makes, makes us feel very good. Um, like free-flow um, products, we also have other products, like we have a black range of products, which are superior depth. Now, these products are, we call it blacker than the black. So this is the another fashion icon that we have. Then at Reliance, we spend a lot of time on sustainability, recycling. Um, for the people here, uh, I should mention that um, we at Reliance uh, convert or process more than one crore post-consumer bottles every day. So we collect these bottles from, from our network in the country. We have, we have around 150 vendors all over the country. We collect all these thrown post-consumer bottles, water bottles. Uh, they come into our factory. So these bottles get processed into, into the flakes after washing and cleaning. Then these flakes are converted into the fibers, and the fibers ultimately land up into these garments that we are talking about. So these are the products that we have are like one of the most efficient carbon footprint fibers anywhere in the world. So this is what we do. <clears throat> Ireland, we started some 12 months ago, and we are happy that it has taken off so well. Thank you with the help of all stakeholders into this. We are now connected with uh, 20 global brands. Uh, we are present in more than 10 countries. We have uh, crossed already 1 million mark of the garments with the R. Elan hand tags getting sold worldwide through the, through the shelves, through, the, through various retailers and the brand owners. So this is what has happened so far. At Reliance, at, uh, Reliance we, have, um, we have very good network of the HEP partners. Uh, we call it high excellent partners. So these are the people who come along, along with us into the value chain because we cannot sell fibers and yarns to the end consumer. So we need the help of the customers and the converters, retailers, and the brand owners. So what we do, that we work in a very holistic, structured fashion through the value chain so that the fibers and the yarn with the due properties can find place with the consumers and they can have superior experience while wearing these garments. So if we can hear from both the designers, I know that this is the Patu series that you guys have come up with. It has dramatic colors, beautiful styles and trends. So if you can talk to us about your ethos, your aesthetic and how this all came about. Uh, for us, Padu series began um, as an inspiration from tribal arts, specifically in the belt of Orissa, Andhra Pradesh, and Bengal. Uh, the idea was to look at these art forms and get inspired to do next season's uh, six iconic prints and help put together a collection that sends our woman and man on a decadent holiday, uh, a honeymoon, or a destination wedding. And uh, when the idea of the collection was coming about, um, we couldn't think of uh, a better partner than Arilan uh, to partner with because with their technologically advanced fabrics, 
we knew that uh, the product, the final product that goes to the consumer not only aesthetically works brilliantly, but actually also performs uh, on this specific occasion that they wear it. So whether it's, um, uh, you know, Insta Dry uh, or uh, fabrics that help you perspire easily or um, fabrics that, um, you know, block you from UV rays and all sorts of things. So this is, it became a brilliant example how fashion is not just uh, about looking beautiful but also can perform a function and it can happen at the yarn stage, at the fabric stage. So it was a brilliant opportunity for us to actually uh, do this 360 degree understanding of not only aesthetics but also the functions and also uh, how a fabric can really help change a life and thank you uh, for allowing us to do that um, I, I also feel that uh, because it was free flowing it also gave us the opportunity for the first time to actually move away from the body uh, we as designers love body con silhouettes uh, because we started with swimwear as a product uh, category um, Part of, part of us is obsessed with body con form, but I think with Arilan, uh, because the fabric uh, on the table was so flowy, uh, it gave us the courage to actually move away from the body and really let the fabric flow, which uh, personally for us as, as designers is, a, is an evolution of style. And uh, I think, again, we'll have to thank you for that, for letting us, helping us evolve at the design table. Thank you. Fashion and function, so if you can tell us more about this. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've spoken a lot, and uh, thank you so much uh, for uh, working with yeah. <laughs> As you guys know, I talk very less. But um, uh, I believe Naresha said most of it, and um, I would thank again Arilan for um, lending this beautiful fabric, and uh, we could really uh, understand the fabric properties, and it kind of really uh, blended with the this, the inspiration we were thinking. And we converted the inspiration into modern silhouettes, uh, beautifully blended together. It just works wonderfully. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And thank you, Vani, for doing justice <laughs> to the government. Vani, you can tell us what you feel like in beautiful silhouettes, free flowing. <laughs> All I can say is I'm. It's working, right? Yeah. All I can say is I'm feeling. Uh, really really uh, happy in this piece of garment I want to just like sleep in it wake up in it it's so flowy and comfortable it's so so pretty and it had I mean the entire collection for that matter has such an interesting vibe and has such an interesting um, uh, you know like th the garment is almost like your second skin it's that comfortable it's that friendly to your skin and I uh, really really um, I mean I'm only very very uh, grateful to to Shivan and Naresh um, for having me here. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anything else about your association, about your collection that you think we we should know? I think it would be it would be interesting to say that um, we're personally we're as designers a very proud Indian. Uh, holiday brand and uh, with this collection we could say that we were uh, ingeniously completely indigenous uh, from fabric to the final uh, product and that's something I feel very happy about that uh, literally from the yarn to the final product stage it was all made in India and that just makes you feel proud yeah. it truly does and on that note without saying much more I'm going to open the floor for questions so if anyone has any questions that they'd like to ask the designers Um, Shivan, uh, the thing is, uh, when uh, I saw a lot of accessories uh, along with the garments that were on the ramp, be it the sunglasses or the, the, the there's a very cute little handbag which was there. Could you tell us more about you know the whole concept behind that also? <laughs> um, well, it actually was based on the inspiration. So we uh, we actually went to Calcutta, saw artist work and kind of uh, had one of the artists work on these prints and gave him the brief of think about these uh, mythical creatures so we started designing these mythical creatures and and there about came the accessories and I feel a garment is not just a garment without accessories like it has to be accessorized the right the right sunglasses the right jewelry the right bag everything makes it all together so not one thing can uh, just make it all up. So 
we had to we love putting the show together holistically so you would have seen like uh, there were there were rugs thrown on the runway there were there were beautiful sunglasses with beadwork on it so everything kind of put together the whole essence of what we we saw from our vision of all the folk art we've kind of been experiencing through the past six months to collect inspiration for this show.